listed under sharing simply because the, um, Karen Higgins has retired from the position of head cook for uh, the SAC district. I've talked to a nursing home, two nursing homes now, and the hospital uh, just about whether there are dietary services available. Um, there are new wellness laws, uh, regulations, I shouldn't say laws, regulations from the federal level and some from the state level that will take effect starting July 1 and that this year and then July 1 of the, the next year. We're on board for the July 1. We're not out of compliance. We're where we need to be, but um, everything about food service is trickier and I keep thinking of what Doug talked about regarding meals and just the efficiency when you have the same menus that all of the penitentiaries and ours would be at all of our buildings because one of the things we talked about is like menus. Um, we do have a lot of comment about that. Um, not so much about the quality of the food as about, well, why, is the, why aren't the menus the same? Probably the people at the radio stations would like it too so they don't have to read two sets of menus and then kids grown up one place or the other about what foods where. So my question to you would be, um, and this doesn't take a vote today, um, but it would be your thinking about if we contract some services uh, or can do that with um, for, for a dietitian who would work on menu planning and meeting what those federal and state regs are, um, then have two head cooks, one for the two buildings in the south part of the district and one for the two buildings in the north part of the district, but those two head cooks work together along with that dietitian. But we have life menus that we do more purchasing together than what we have. I'm just, I guess, asking for permission to look at some ways we can do a little sharing with that because that would be beneficial to both school districts or East Sac County schools. Um, this does not qualify for any generation of shared money. Uh, so it's not for that reason. It would be simply to coordinate the food service programs more. Uh, it would also be for uh, taking a step toward guaranteeing that you meet the regulations concerning uh, the diet that we feed these or offer these kids. Is well, that part of the regulations that either this year or next year you have to have a certified no. dietitian or something? No, like it's not. Um, but Just if you it. talk to the, in, yeah, yeah. When we have our food service visits now, um, the extended version of them, they take the menus for an extended period of time and analyze the menus. And then while they're here, they're actually looking at serving sizes. And they do a little bit of inspection that would have to do with health and hygiene and temperature of food and that sort of thing. But it's much more about the serving sizes, nutritional content. They're looking for too much sugar, too much sodium, uh, what level of starch, um, how many fruits and vegetables are being served, as well as how many fruits and vegetables are on kids' plates. Uh, so it has a lot more to do with healthy food being offered to students and then they take it and eat it then it has to do with kind of the old visit, which was they kind of looked around and in two or three hours they were gone. Now they're here for a couple of days when they come to the district. Um, and they do a lot of work with the head cooks to talk about the menus then. So at the end we do a sit down review and I sit in with them and they talk to us about uh, sodium levels and uh, foods that we buy that are prepared versus making our own foods, snacks that we might offer. Um, the state and federal regs have two parts. One will be nutritious meals, breakfast and lunch. And then the second piece of that is um, going to be uh, physical exercise every day. And the law says that there have to be 35 minutes of organized physical exercise every day for every student preschool through 12th grade. Every day. And that would that could mean that physical or that uh, recess looks different for elementary kids. Schools are asking for waivers from their high school because we have kids that have PE waivers because of uh, course loads. Um, and so there's the State Department of Education is um, state school board is struggling with how to how to have college credit classes and still have kids have 35 minutes of physical exercise every day. So um, the rules haven't all been um, I's dotted and T's crossed, but it's just a little more complicated. Uh, obesity among children is at a high rate in the nation and the federal and state government see the schools as having a big impact on that. This would be one of the few things I have a well, I have an opinion about a lot of things, but this one really irritates me because there's a, a lot of work that needs to be done with families and how they choose to eat and before we ever get kids. 
but we certainly have a responsibility and many of them eat two or their three meals with us five days a week. So we are not out of compliance and we'll move along and we'll be in compliance, but I just think we, we're going to get to the point where we're going to be asking our head cooks who go to school every summer to be trained to do some things that are going to just technically um, be tough for them to do. Um, when you talk about part-time basis, what are you talking about? I don't know. I'd have to talk to someone for them to tell me, John, you know what, um, I, 10, hours, 10 hours a month would do it for you, or 6 hours, or 5 hours, or it'd be on an hourly basis, um, much like nursing homes often hire so many hours a month. And that would, that's what they do. I guess I'm not asking that question. I'm saying that that's what nursing homes do, and that's what we'd be looking at doing, too. Will AEA have somebody available? No. Because of the new rules? They no. won't. If you got a rotating menu, it may be that that dietitian only looks at those menus once a year mm -hmm. and either approves them or doesn't approve them. So I think it'd be well worth our time to continue those conversations, see what it's going to cost. And I agree. That's a good idea. Yeah. Does the prisons have a dietitian working there? The department does. That reviews all of them. And so that's how the department. They, they probably have very few dietitians, but they review, the, and that's why that's the menus are the same. And that's correct. Gotcha. So maybe we could hook up with some other schools and we could all have the same menus. Where are you going? Where are you going to prison? Some people think we heard about this. I've talked to other administrators on this particular situation, and they just concur exactly what you're saying. It's just a few hours you're dealing with mm -hmm. monthly. And you know, it makes our head cooks nervous. We have never had bad reviews from food no. service that were inspected, never. But it really makes them nervous that their skills are being stretched all the time. Um, and they go to school and they, you know, they use those skills, but they're just right to the, about to the end. And they really like to be a little bit free of that piece of it and not feel like they're making a mistake with it.